It's an opportunity Joe Harrisimiak couldn't refuse, no matter the counter offer. Uh, Joe and I have been talking about this for a couple of weeks, and I think everybody knows that there's been a couple of opportunities for him. This is the one position that Joe said from the start, if it was offered, he would take. Harris Simiak is making the jump from FCS to FBS, from U Maine to U Minnesota. We were really happy for Joe. Um, this has been a dream of his to go to a Power Five school and have this kind of an opportunity. So you know we're going to be very supportive. We wanted to do everything we could to keep him here at the University of Maine and continue on with the great work he's done. But he's earned this opportunity, and we're very happy for him. Now leaves the obvious question: Who's going to replace him? Ralph says he's already gotten more than four dozen applications, and we'll take a look at internal candidates as well. Whoever the next head coach is will have to pick up the pulse of the program and carry on the accountability and belief that took the team to a new level this season. Well, the big thing is, is for somebody to really understand our culture, to understand some of the challenges we have at Maine, uh, to understand the type of student that we attract. Um, but we want to keep this momentum going. We feel like we're in a good spot with this football program. It's never easy losing a head coach that took your program from the local to national spotlight in just one year. While it's tough, UMaine is looking at it as a positive. Well, I hope we have the same situation three or four years from now. I hope whoever comes and fills this position does such a good job and we have such a great deal of success that they have a ton of suitors then. That's how we'll know we have the right person. Ralph says he hopes to have a new coach by the new year. In Orono, Andrew Badillo for ABC7 and Fox 22.